Yo, what's up, y'all? Byron Rogers here. EDC, pocket knives, all that fun stuff. Do I carry a pocket knife because I'm a knife ninja? Negative. But I believe every man should have a pocket knife. You gotta have something, you know? You gotta be ready. Um, I bought some pretty cool knives before going into combat, mostly. I opened a lot of MREs with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's really about it. Uh, we tried to throw them from time to time, you know? But um, I did have one engagement with what was my very first pocket knife, uh, where I uh, had an, an Iraqi army guy turn on me inside of a post. Uh, we were in post together, and uh, I wouldn't let him smoke a cigarette because it was nighttime and I didn't want him to compromise us. Um, anybody who's been over there knows, you know, you're smoking a cigarette, the cherry shows up. Anybody who's aiming in on you, any snipers, we had snipers in the SAO, you could get shot in the face. Could get you both shot in the face. So, you know, told him no smoking cigarettes. He didn't like that. He produced a weapon, came at me. And in that case, I was able to deploy my faithful Fox Karambit. Boom. And stop him. Didn't kill him, didn't even cut him, but it was enough for me to pin him up against the wall and uh, stop him and buy myself some time to deal with um, the reality I was facing at that time. Uh, definitely something that was a, a choice point. You know, Iraqi Army, we've had our differences. They've turned on us, things like this have happened. They've tossed grenades in posts, they've shot at posts, things like this have happened. Um, so choice points. Nonetheless, it was an opportunity for me to deploy this really cool, trusty, dusty pyramid that I got when I was in Iraq. Um, so ever since then, this has been my favorite pocket knife in terms of a folder. I'm just a karambit guy. Don't hold it against me. I'm not like a knife ninja. I've gone to only a couple courses. I went to a Libre course. Uh, shout out, you know, uh, to, to the Libre system, man, and Scott Bad, man, that was some good stuff. And Ed Caldron did some weaponology with him. That was savage. Uh, probably uh, a course that made me more dangerous than most of the courses I've been to recently was at Ed Caldron uh, course that I went to. Um, and um, so that got me into the knife stuff. And then that's when I went and checked out Libre and all that stuff, which was great for just knife work um, and things like that, which is really interesting. So I'm into it. I like it. I'm not by no means an enthusiast, but I think every man should have a knife. Every woman should have a knife. Every um, responsible citizen should be able to protect themselves and have a few weapons to choose from, right? Uh, so this is a quick video about my favorite pocket knife, what I carry, how I carry, why I carry, maybe some EDC components in here as well, right? So, uh, and also an experience I had with a company, uh, with a vendor, karambits.com, that was really, really, really positive. So I got that karambit in the Marine Corps. I haven't seen it since. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I opened too many MREs with it, whatever. Um, but I got that from the PX, so it was a real deal. So then I got out. And a few years ago, I went and bought this bad boy. Boom, looks identical. Except it's got this cool, uh, like looks like Filipino writing right here, you know, uh, which is even more sweet, like made it look even more sweet. So boom, this is the Karambit um, that I was rocking. I bought this, I thought I got a pretty good deal offline for it. And uh, what ended up happening was it fell apart. Like I'm talking about instantly it fell apart. Like. I got the knife and screws started falling out the back straps and it just started just completely, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it just started coming apart on me and to the point where I couldn't even wear it anymore. And then I finally was kind of like, man, I really want to rock this ceramic because in the state of California, there's some considerations around fixed blades. Um, so I was like, well, I need to get this thing working. So I hit up karambits.com and Instantly, I actually hit him up on Instagram. So give him go, give him a follow. Instantly, instantly, and it's like ten at night. Uh, the guy on the other end starts messaging back with me. Starts hitting me back, and I'm like, hey, I get this problem with my knife. Send him a quick video picture, show him the blade, show him the whole thing. Within minutes, he's told me that this is a knockoff. It's a cheap knockoff, and that's why it is not working. And within minutes, he hooks me up with a real deal. Uh, knife with full sex appeal, you know what I'm saying? So this is my new one. I got the one with the carbon fiber because I like carbon fiber, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, so um, this is my new, real, actual uh, karambit from Fox Blades. And 
one of the reasons he, he he pointed it out to me was you see this little dealio right here where the clip is seated if you're paying attention this one's shaped more like a triangle and fits into place whereas this one's uh just cheaply it doesn't have that same shape so if you flip these bad larry's around you'll see that this one there's a little imprint for you to drop the actual piece into the handle this one's just flush and so that's how you can locate close with and destroy these fake knockoff ones uh that are floating around on the market because what will happen is right after you buy it it will fall apart like it will stink and almost ah she's still new <laughs> it'll dang near disintegrate so here are the two side by side that's a little creepy um but um yeah so i'm a ceramic guy and i love that so fast forward to when i get this bad boy now there are a number of different ways you can put your ceramic in your pocket for me i like to carry mine this way right now the thing is with this i'll take this other knife off this is how i used to carry a kernel blade next to my gap of course right uh, great knife, but like I said, considerations for carrying a uh, fixed blade, you gotta consult. Look at the place you're at. So, check it out, boom. This is how I usually rock it. This is how I usually rock it. I think that every day before you go out, you should take a look at your draw strokes. So yeah, pistol, boom, draw stroke, okay. But another thing people don't talk about is like, maybe you should look at your knife draw stroke. Let's see if we can get this down here a moment so you can see how it works. You should look at your knife draw stroke, right? Boom, boom. That's how quick and easy it is. Now, this is something that I was practicing. <laughs> and you need to be very careful when you're practicing it because you can injure yourself, okay? This wave opening, the way that they designed the blade, it's got a horn on it that catches and pulls it open when it's coming out of your pocket. Emerson designed that. It is a fantastic uh, feature on your knife. And there's Emerson and his patent number right there. I'm so glad he let these guys run this. So now, boom, something else I practice when I'm coming out for the day is my knife draw stroke. Because if you need it, you wanna be able to get to it, right? So, the knife draw stroke, big deal, practice it. But a side note, be very careful because um, I did have an incident where I was practicing my knife draw stroke, I was practicing some stuff with my knife, and they say you have not truly earned a knife until uh, it's caused you to bleed. Well, I got the scar to prove it. This bad boy definitely caused me to bleed on like the second or third night I had it. Doing a little practice tonight. Slipped up a little bit. Bad boy bit me. Let's see if you can see it on the blade here. You can see the beak. It's a little bit. Beak's a little bit darker. She got me. Starting spewing blood for a minute or two. Anyways. That's my kind of karambit knife story. Promise you guys a little EDC. We'll do a little pocket dump. CZP10 hybrid. So I got the F slide with the C frame. Still running my CZP10. Let's see what else you guys want to know. Boom. Extra mag in the back. Shield arms. Uh, magazine extensions. Those are plus five. Pretty sweet. I like to also run my Surefire Stiletto. I got the cheap one. Why did I get this, the cheap Surefire Stiletto? Well, because when you lose your pocket knife and you lose your pocket knives, flashlights and pens and sunglasses, all need to be things you can lose and not trip. So boom, I got the cheap Stiletto. Obviously, boom, my Karambit. Lastly, I always carry around my own, my very own 
Memento Mori coin. Just so you remember that we can all, we can both leave Earth right now. And I think the secret to dying well is living well. So that's something that reminds me of that. Nonetheless, wanted to come to you guys real quick. Shout out to Karambas.com. They're the dudes. If you're looking for one of these things, they have so many cool, awesome options. And I just want you to know, I was extremely happy with my, the customer service they had and also with them helping me get this bad boy. And uh, we have exactly what I need for my everyday carry. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next video. This is Byron, protected by nature and by trade. We'll see you inside the Protector Symposium or inside the Protector Nation. Out. Boom.